Hello everybody, I want to show you a clip here where Manchester City play. I just we're gonna watch through it twice and then we'll get into my opinion as they play here. I just want to preface that I don't actually know what Pep Guardiola is thinking. I just know that as a player there's a couple of sequences here that I find really interesting and that I apply to both my playing and my coaching of myself and often if I'm coaching my teammates in a sense, uh, perhaps coaching is the wrong word, but suggesting things. And I think it's important with players with soccer IQ to uh, go through a couple things. So here we go. We're just going to watch it. It's not a crazy sequence. Last, last time through. Interesting enough. Okay, that's enough. All right. Now, what I want to show you is this. So the first thing is Rodri plays a simple pass into Foden. That's no big deal. Now, this is what I want you to watch next. In this next sequence, you're going to see the right back almost want to play inside to Rodri. And my point is that many coaches these days are always saying, don't play inside, look where the numbers are. But Manchester City, and sometimes myself, it depends on the situation, see a lot of value in playing inside because it opens up things wider and then you can play forward. And Manchester City, to me, is very good at this. So here, you'll see him go, look, he's thinking, should I go inside? And he didn't do it. We'll just watch one more time. Here, thinking, inside, fake, last time. Watch, but better now. He fakes, and then he comes back here. Now, the next step is this center back. He hasn't just taken a touch and hit it over to the other side, which is what many of us are taught. Keep the ball moving, keep the ball moving. These guys, to me, are clearly taught to take a second and see if they can play inside or play forward. See, there's a pause there before he just goes to the other side. Now, in this case, he goes to the other side directly here. Now, that you could argue that that's because... My way of thinking is wrong. There's certainly evidence for that. I would argue that this player does move forward a little bit, and that's why. Or you can make the argument, maybe if he was a better player, which is a bit harsh, I would say, he would take his space. John Stones, of course, is, is super good at it, but there's also risk to that. So you have to, it's a balance. It's not take your space and dribble him or take your space until you're a couple feet from him. It can be a combination of both. But in this case, this is what we're looking at. So he plays it out wide. Now, here again, this is a prime one for me. So many times it comes here, there is pressure, and he goes straight back to him. Now, what you'll notice is his body language could press. He's not moving very quickly, so he could press. His body language is moving forward, so he could follow, continue the press. So could he. So instead, what he does is he nullifies the press, and this is very fascinating to me. Watch this next sequence here. Plays it. Now, look, he plays it into the center mid. Now, his momentum is slowed down, so is his, so is his, and his momentum stopped completely. So then, when he's gone backwards all this way, he cannot now press the center back. So they've nullified the opportunity for a high press. Now again, we're focusing here, that player played inside to this player, now he's going to play inside to this player, as opposed to switching it. There is an emphasis, clearly, that's wanting to play inside. And that's the main sequence. We're going to watch through it one more time. Here. Boom. He plays. Fakes to go inside. Doesn't. Comes out. Looks forward. Then decides to switch it. Looks forward in central. He goes wide. He doesn't just go back to him. He goes, can I play forward in central? He does again. He looks forward first. Plays central again. And that's the sequence. And that's the lesson I want you guys to look at in your own games. Would love to see your own clips. And uh, here's a little bit of cleverness from Mares to get out of that sequence in case you're curious what happens next. And Roger actually mishits it here. <laughs> and they yeah, take it. So, anyways, thanks for your uh, feedback. I hope to hear from you guys soon.